Hi guys and welcome to another video from Stupid is the Norm, the channel where we demonstrate how to become a millionaire in 10 years on minimum wage. And in this video I'm going to explain to you how I believe that my gross rental income will be over £100,000 this year. So, beginning of 2023, this year is going to be a seminal year for the project. And as much that in the past we've been buying properties through, 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 my, own, through my own name rather, as opposed to a limited company. And uh, they've been buy to let properties. So, a bit of a change, a bit of a change in strategy and direction in that whilst the goal remains the same, the plan is changing slightly. We're going to form a limited company that'll be formed at the end of this month and we're going to buy serviced accommodation properties through that company. The reason for doing so uh, are many fold, but the, uh, principally because if I buy a property in my own name again, it'll push me into the 40% bracket and that'll mean that any profit that was left in the company will then be paid in tax so I'll make no money from it. So we're going to buy within a limited company and that also allows me to offset the cost of the commercial mortgage against income which means it has a dual effect of increasing profit whilst at the same time reducing um, the tax implication. So let's look at the numbers. I'm going to buy two service accommodation properties this year. Um, I know because Matt runs a number of service accommodation units within the Teesside area so these are founded on some good solid figures um, that have been used in the past and been successful. So I want two properties. He tells me that the properties they have will rent out for £3,500 a month and we'll have two of them. I have three bite led properties and they rent out for 1500 a month, not each obviously. There's two for 500 pounds a month and another one for, for 550. So that's another 1550. So per month I expect the rental income to be 8,550. If you round that up to a, an annual rate, just times it by 12 and we will get 102,600. So after five years, gross rental income will be over £100,000. Um, but of course, that's not the, the, the total picture because there's a lot of costs involved in here. So let's strip all the costs out and look at the, the net result of that. So I take all the costs out of these. They will probably net down to, I'm, Matt tells me, about 1500 a month. Again, there's two of them. My rentals are now coming in at the three of them at 650, my buy to lets. That would have been 1200 quid last year, but because of rises in interest rates, it's now um, at 650 pounds. And I also have a rent, uh, a Royal Navy pension, so I'll just chuck that at the bottom there. This, so this is total unearned income for the year, and that comes a total of 4050 pounds unearned income. That's after netting out all costs and, and mortgages and management fees and what have you. So if I times that by 12 and get that up to an annual rate, it comes out at 48,600. There's 102,600 after five years. Remember where I started from? I started with uh, no money savings, I had £10,000 of a credit card debt and I was working on minimum wage behind a bar. I'm still working minimum wage now but I now work as a cab driver. Incidentally that reminds me that £10,000 credit card bill I converted to a, a, a personal loan of £10,000 and the last payments this month. So that's gone and will add an extra £200 to my savings. So that's £4,860 a month. Now just that's unearned income. I of course, just so we get an idea of how much I save a month, save 1300 from my cabbing business. So that will take total monthly saving rate to 5350 Now, if you'd have gone to a financial advisor or financial planner and said, look, I want to retire on around 50,000 pounds. It was 48,600, we'll just round that up to 50,000 pounds make the numbers easier. I want to retire on 50,000 pounds. Now I'm at a stage of doing that after five years, but a financial planner would tell you that using the 4% rule, which is a flawed rule by the way, but they use it to calculate how much you need in the pension pot in order to chuck out whatever figure it is. And we're saying 50,000 pounds. So what they would do, they take the 50,000 pounds you desire for retirement and they would times it by 25. And if you did that, you would get 1.25 million. And that's the amount you would need in a pension fund in order to kick out or safely take out 50,000 pounds a year. 
it's a safe withdrawal rate, £50,000 a year. And they will also tell you that's going to take you 40 years to do. So I'm not kicking financial planners, I'm not kicking the, kicking the pension industry. What the pensions are a, a canny little financial uh, instrument for average normal people who want an average normal retirement. And incidentally, it's unlikely you're going to get £50,000. Back in the day when they had gold plated pensions from if you work for the government or local authority, you'd have to work 40 years in order to get half pay. And that's typically what people are aiming for, which is great retiring on half pay, provided you've paid off your mortgage or you don't have rent to pay. But if you still have a mortgage and, do, and still have rent to pay when you retire and it's coming out of half pay, then you're screwed because 30% of all our costs are used up in the place we live in. So they would tell you, getting back to our pension, if you wanted £50,000, which I will be generating unearned income next year, you take your 40 years and you need 1.25 million. Again, this is not me saying, oh, how clever I am. I'm just saying this is a comparison between doing it in property, you can do it in five years and kick out 50, or you can use a pension and it'll take you 40 years. Which would you rather? I'm pretty sure I know the answer to that. So of course, these are just projected figures. Do I know what the actual figures will be at the end? Of course you won't. So what we'll do, we'll re revisit this again in 11 months time when we see what the actual figures are. In the meantime, usual, put the comments and questions below. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Don't be stupid and don't be normal, guys.